Cardano is pressing up closer and closer to $3. Now, will it break $3? Would it get resisted at $3 and get slammed down to $2.5? Let's find out in this video. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Inai HM and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Cardano potentially breaking $3 and what will happen if it does and if it doesn't, what you should do. If you appreciate this kind of content, please leave a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I do post weekly, sometimes three times a week about crypto content and personal finance. Currently, the price of Cardano is $2.84 it's up 12.4 percent in the last 24 hours and it's still the third largest cryptocurrency with the market cap of 91 almost 92 billion dollars what's happened in the last three days is that we saw cardano go up all the way to 2.97 that was the high on binance and after that it got rejected and pushed down back all the way to 2.47 dollars per coin and i did mention that in the previous video that you should wait for confirmation and i also mentioned that we can see resistance at three dollars so don't fomo and buy in if you're at 2.7 now because for all we know we could be buying the top and this is what happened it went down and we got supported right at this level now will we break three dollars let's see so right now the current resistance is at about 2.97 dollars and the reason why we see that resistance is because as we get closer to th the three dollar level which is a big psychological number where many people say i'm gonna sell if i reach if Cardano reaches $3. For example, if you're someone who bought at $1.5 and you doubled your money, you say, I'm gonna sell at $3. That's why there would be many sell orders at the even level of $3. But if you wanna be less greedy than the rest, you can actually make the profits and put in your sell order at 2.96, for example, and then you would have sold your position if you decided to do so. What's crazy about Cardano is that after the big correction that we saw, we saw a correction of 17% in three days, but we completely engulfed this with one candle today. We're still in the middle of the day. We have about towards the end of the day, we have seven hours and 20 minutes left for today. And we already recovered all these losses and we're up about 14% right now, which is crazy that there's this amount of buying power and that's that much demand for Cardano, which gives me hope that we might see a break above $3 soon because look at this volume on the four hour it's crazy volume and it's not as crazy as this part but it's it's almost there it's up there so we might see a huge spike all the way up to three dollars we can't see some resistance or maybe even right here at 2.97 dollars and then get corrected and then go press up and then eventually break it but what you should do is wait that's what you do you should do you should wait because for all we know we can get resisted by this diagonal resistance right here and we can go back down and then what we can do is start playing in this channel and then eventually break up or down so you must wait for confirmation because if you don't you're probably gonna end up losing and for all we know this could be the top right here there's no way we can know if this is the top or not but with this volume it's kind of promising so what you can do is if you want to buy into strength you wait to break the previous resistance of 2.97 dollars and let's say we break out of it we wait until it's support again and then you buy at this area right here roughly because that way you, the chances of us breaking below this new support that we made so it's a fairly strong resistance we tried to break it one two three four five times and we couldn't break it so this is a strong resistance so when we break it it turns into a strong support and when you do that you you're probably confident that it's going to go further up or if this does not happen, you can just wait. Maybe you can dip after this and you can pick Cardano back up cheaper at about $2.57. That's what I would do. This is not financial advice, guys, definitely. And also, if you're interested in asking me questions, you can check the links to the Discord, join the community. You can chat with me, ask me any questions or give me some video ideas so I can definitely address them in future videos. Also, if you want access to my live trades, I do give out alerts on the trades I'm doing and what I see in the market. You can check the link in the description for my Patreon as well. Now let's jump back into this. Also another chart that looks great is the Cardano Bitcoin. Even though we are facing some resistance, the volume is great and potentially this can break out and then make this support by the end of the day. Cardano, Ethereum, same thing. We're being resisted, but we still can see it go up. Now, if you take a look at the altcoin dominance chart. So altcoin dominance right now is at 55%. So this means that altcoins take a share of 50 about 55.9% of the whole market cap of the whole market. So there's Bitcoin and altcoins. Bitcoin has 44%, altcoins have 56%. So 
right here we've been consolidating in this for the past about two weeks or so in this area or a week and a half we've been consolidating here and usually when we consolidate what happens is eventually we're going to have to break out one way or the other eventually we can break out upwards or downwards and i do see that we're going to break upwards now, it's not guaranteed definitely but all the projects that are happening all the nft hype that's going on all the demand coming in for crypto and after this huge correction people are like okay i still have the opportunity to buy bitcoin at 48k before it goes back to 65k so for that reason i see very high demand in crypto space many more people are still asking me about it once again and so for that reason i do see this going up and breaking out of it but but you need to be careful because right now the fear and greed index is at 71 meaning that there's greed in the market and every time there's greed in the market usually this means we're close to a top it doesn't mean you have to be the whole top for the whole cycle it could be just a short to medium term top but as i said if you trade with confirmation it shouldn't matter what the fear and greed index is what you should do is see if we break out of the level that we're looking at for example cardano if we break out of the 2.97 roughly we might see it going further up as we go down to the resistance just make sure you don't buy into the hype or fomo because have you bought before right here you would have lost money for the past four days or so but if you sold you would have lost but if you didn't sell where well, you you would have recovered your losses moral of the story if you're in it for the long term and you believe Cardano is going to go up to $10, it doesn't matter if you buy now. If you're someone who is dollar cost averaging Cardano and you're buying every two weeks or so, just don't watch this video or just drop a like and you can go ahead. But seriously, if you're in it for the long term, it won't matter. But it would definitely be better to buy at the 17% discount because the $100 is going to spend is going to buy you more Cardano at 2.5 than it will at $2.8, if that makes sense. So that's it, guys. That's what I think. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Remember, always trade with confirmation. If you want access to my trading alerts and if you want to just ask me questions, join my Discord and my Patreon. Link in the description down below. Also, if you want a safe place to store your cryptocurrencies, check the description below for the Ledger Nano Wallet. It's definitely an investment that I would recommend to anyone if you want to safely store your cryptos. And they're never safe unless they're on cold storage or a wallet like this one. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.